Hey, don't worry about okay. it. Because I, I forget. Covered. I, I, I would have forgotten. I got you covered. I got you covered. No, this is going to be fun. All right. Game number one was cloudy enough as it was with our DC oh. issues. Puppy, who had the Five biggest DC three. problems that game on his chin, has been swapped out now for Theban. And, well, we're going to have to see how it goes from here because this is going to be a bit ridiculous. Nuza opened up with a Tusk first pick, and things okay, continue to get quite silly from there. And now they will no lead Arcana. in. It's over. They already lost. Yeah. And a smoke already goes off the bat. And I was wrong. As the players oh. grab up their heroes, it's going to be Zai this playing the gyro. Kuro is going to be the one playing the blood. Are Dusa trying a level one Roche here? Are they just going to try to bait it out? Because they have a pretty good level one Roche lineup. Secret. They're smoked up. They're nearby. Oh my god. This could be explosive. What the hell's happening here? All right, Techies' mines are down. They're going to bait Smokes someone into mines? <laughs> Both sides. There's a courier out there. It's going to die. They're baiting the courier into the mines. <laughs> Look at this. They're smart. But is it going to backfire? Maybe what the push is monster this? can go in. Everyone's here. Arteezy. Oh, my God. It's 5v5. Man, Arteezy goes in first. He's stunned up. Now the Bloodseeker's here. There's your rocket They're barrage. going to the mines. Christy getting low. They want the mines. But Secret's too smart for it. They're like, we know your trick, young Techies. We know it better than you. The Sticky is starting to stack up on S4. Now the stun on the Gyrocopter, but another Rocket Barrage. First Blood goes to the Dire. It's Flow. Oh, Secret. They may be bested here. Now your Ice Shards. They just don't have enough damage. The Senpai gets locked in place. S4 now on the run. Eight stacks of Sticky up on Limbo. Look at these auto attacks. They hurt like the Dickens, baby. They're going to turn this one around. At least get one kill. Can they find another? Venomancer very low. It's a one for two. Dooza, what a start. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Star Ladder Season 12 Europe. Day number one. Hot diggity. What an explosive start. Two I like it one. from Dooza. A little too obvious, I think, but I like the idea to try to bait with the courier there. How fun was that? So, yeah, this, this is great. This is great happening here. Those mines not really utilized. Still will be parked there by the Roche early on, and... Let's just take a moment to finally breathe. We'll get some proper introductions. We'll figure out where the hell the lanes are. And sure enough, we've been blessed. It's going to be the S4 mid lane Batrider. Haven't seen this a whole lot since back in TI3 Alliance days for S4. And then nearby, we got Kuroki, who's going to be your neighboring four position slash jungling Bloodseeker. Along the bottom, we got Mr. I'm a Steal Yo Girl, taking a little bit out of the B-Kid book right there, I guess, with that name. But it's <laughs> Arteezy playing your Phantom Assassin. Senpai, also known as 1437, or Teban. He's going to be playing your Witch Doctor support, standing in temporarily for Puppy, who is having disconnection issues. And top lane, the off-lane position, Mr. Kush Monster 388. That's Zai. He's oh, going to be yeah. playing your off-lane gyro. Yep. Should be able to fare pretty well against the Venno. He is putting some points in the rocket or the homing missile. He may actually level it up. That max damage gets really scary, and we'll give some solo kill potential. Looking at the dire side, Undershot goes solo mid on the techies. So won't do anything crazy, not roaming around, but wants to actually get some XP and try and farm in the lane. Up top, we've seen Zoof. He's on the Venno, and it's an aggro try indeed. That Tusk pick was pretty telling. He'll be played by Flo. He's hearting on Christy. Axmo on the Ursa, and Limbo supporting on the Wraith King. An awkward-ass try lane with three melee heroes. This is, I mean... Look at well, mid lanes, the techies versus bat rider. I mean, what do you expect? This is going to be awkward from top to bottom, but sometimes your awkward lanes are what works best. Taking your opponents out of their comfort zone into a situation where they're like, I don't know what the hell's going on here. We got to just try our best to make the best of this situation. So it is a two versus three, and look at Arteezy, man. He is not going near the creep wave, which means your, your lane's going well. Mm -hmm. You're keeping a PA back, trying to get the creep equilibrium somewhat near the tower here, trying to work with the pulls, which have already been blocked, though. It's going pretty well, I think. They haven't killed me yet. When you do an aggro try, you really need to find kills. It's a two-on-three. The lane the lane setup is way more efficient for the Radiant, having Kuro dedicated as a jungler. He's mm -hmm. a little slow in the jungle, but this is... If they don't find kills here, I think yeah. zoning out the PA is just not enough. Yeah. No, it's a good start. Kills would be a follow up. It might have to wait a bit, though. I mean, that's the problem, of course. Being a tri lane, you're sh you're sharing a lot of XP amongst three people. Yeah. Once you get to level twos, possibly level threes, that's when you can try to strike and make those kills. And really, who do they have to rotate in and try to help out? Not very many options could, out there. But I just Bloodseeker, bl early Bloodseeker without rupture, though. What are you yeah. gonna do? Hit him with a Even silence? That's gonna take like a delayed cast. Yeah, it, it could be a bit sticky. Once he gets that first point in Thirst, it gets a lot easier because if somebody's low, he can just scoot over and kind of take out yeah. the trash. So and that this is one thing he brings to the table. Yeah, it could be a value.
tell you one one, and then they'll he could look to max out thirst. That's at least more of the core blood seekers. They like to max out the thirst first. But here Snowball. we go. Snowballs are flying right here, right onto Arteezy. No TP rotations quite yet, but they immediately surround the PA. Whoa. Blinks out to the range creep, but will he manage to get away from danger? Oh, Courier, take that on the way out. No, I can't quite get it. He goes yeah. down. The Wraith King one dies for one to the trade. tower. That is far from ideal for Dooza. They almost lost their Courier, too. I mean, yeah, you kill Arteezy, King, but... Wraith King died first. I wonder if Arteezy was close enough to get the XP don't there. I think so. Senpai, he's in some trouble. Blocked in with the Ice Shards, but the cast doing a lot of work. Now the TP reaction flow. He's not going to make it out. Kuro, he's going to bring him down. Good night, sir. The Blood Rite's there. Now Axmo just trying to escape. And I think he might be able to do it. Wow, that cask did so much work for the Witch Doctor. And I think that XP from the Wraith King actually helped him out quite a bit. I can't believe they're playing a Techies. Okay, so how is the Techies doing? He is mid lane here. Techies. He's almost got level six. He's got a lot of CS. He's only three no, like, Bat Rider. No traditional stuff. No like Soul Ring early on. Well, he does get the bottle, so that that is somewhat traditional. The bottle with the new runes is pretty good. You can have pretty much unlimited mana. The other nice thing about Techies is it does open up Roche for Axmo a lot earlier than usual. Look at this. They've got the Vampiric Aura. Sharing is caring as they'll they'll trade it off and. This feels very risky, but look at the bait. Oh, they want dang. Axmo low. You look at the Radiant Vision. They know they're in there. Yeah. They also know that there's mines nearby. Oof. Curl walks into one of them. Maybe he'll walk into two, but it's starting to backfire. They get low. Roche blows up the mines. Oh, no. Now S4 comes in. Axmo's <laughs> low on HP. Stun on S4. Can they do it? The snowball's there. Big damage, but Witch Doctor brings down the Wraith King. Axmo, he's hanging around a little bit too long, perhaps. Undershock, low on mana. None for the suicide. Will just be the Singleton pickoff. The Bloodseeker barely lives. Oh, uh, that was that was awkward. Yeah. I liked I liked the idea to bait them into the mines. That was some next level shit, but unfortunately it backfired. They yeah. couldn't tank Roche long enough. Yeah. Oh my. Seeker kind of aware that their awkward trial lane that they're going against is suddenly not there, and there is an Ursa in the game, so <laughs> they're probably doing Roche by deduction, and they have this ward so they know exactly what's going on. But you know they Dude, make his, the best of it. His thirst senses were tingling, man. Yeah. So, okay. Top lane, Zai, though, who we don't get to talk a whole lot about. Level 6. Hasn't gotten his level 6 quite yet. He is really best in Going this all into the homing missile buildup, like we were talking about. Look at the CS difference, though. 34 and 5 on the gyro. Venno is 21 and 8. And this is where the aggro try starts to break down. So you got this Ursa who you need to have farm, but he has half the CS of the gyro copter who's in the offline. We'll see a fight break out around the bottom rune. Snowball to buy him a little bit of time. Blood rights there. Ooh. Oh, my. Perfectly timed oh, by boy. Kuro. Now uh -oh. they're in a lot of trouble. Oh, God. Limbo's here. They're Axel burning on the over. high ground. They're burning away. Undershot goes down next. Oh, unfortunate Suicide. snowball. Lasso on to Axmo. He's on the fire. Limbo comes in. Dusa. They're in all sorts of trouble here. Ursa goes down. Now Limbo says, come on, man. Come on, man, He please. could be the five. It could be a five-man wipe. He will be a five-man wipe. <laughs> oh, God. Up they top, get the kill. A solo kill came out from Zai as that was happening. He's now level eight, just about. Venno halfway through six. Yep. Top lane has been officially won by Zai. Mid lane, pretty sure you could say this has been won by the Bat Rider. And bottom lane, mm, yeah, pretty much won. The aggro try, I think, is a failure at this point with Artor 1 1 and 4 finding recovery farm. So. What's plan B for Dusa? As we get ready to go into the mid game here, there's usually some sort of comeback, whether it's your Snowball offlaner getting a blink dagger, uh, remote mines, maybe maybe remote mines. This techies could decide to go down the road of picking up a force staff. You know, it's a good go to there where you know even if you have the proper know how to get detection, mm -hmm. it doesn't stop you from unfortunately facing the wrong direction, and then you get the next thing you know, you're welcome to do a quick push into some remote mines. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Four staff in the remote mines could be uh, four staff not good against Bloodseeker though. <laughs> a way into this, yeah, yeah they've could, already could. got that countered. I mean, the PA is pretty poor. I guess that is the one semi grace for Duza. Artor only has 14 CS, but honestly, Zai is more than making up for it. Even though he was the off laner, he can just now transition into a core type build. Even though he went homing missile maxed out, he's got his power treads, 1200 gold. Duza will begin the five man though. Yeah, well, four man, I guess. Four heroes in the bottom lane. They'll get a tier one tower. Seeker nearby, S4. 
lingering around looking for a lasso. I just don't see how this is going to end up good for Duza. I mean, Gyrocopter is getting most of that farm, and Gyrocopter will thrive in a game like this. Look at all the melee core heroes we got on Duza who just want to be together and fight. That The, the Gyrocopter is going to rip them apart, but yeah, they're making a go. S4, here's a snowball. It's a coming. Lands him on the back end side. Flame Break sends him back. They ultimately take down the Batrider, and the cast begins to fly. And that's another reason the why this crew. congested fight. That here comes the backup now from Team Secret. Double damage, Techies. You better run. Oh my god, he has normal damage now. Uh oh oh. Oh! Almost got it. If he had normal base damage, he probably would have finished off Kuroki, but couldn't get it there. But now it's on the bottom hand. Zoof's in a bit of trouble. Gets stunned up. That cog, that little coconut bouncing around, locking him in place, does work. Easy. Oh, the voodoo restoration, Ooh. keeping him alive for Heal now. Him up. Just barely. Oh, look at him go. He's down. Duza are winning the five-man war right now, except for Zai. He's the outlier. He's still farming in the top lane. <laughs> just playing by himself on his gyro. Why is he maxing up homing? He's not even using it. <laughs> Doesn't even have to use He's it. like, don't worry, guys. You can take it. I'm just going to split push. I would have just leveled up Wait, Flat they Cannon. They ping him out. Artur pings on him. They're like, Zai, what are you doing? It's, like, it's a 4v5 in the jungle. We need you, buddy. Oh, S4. He walks into the mines. But he lives. He lives. Walks away. We'll be able to bottle up. This is clowny as it is. You can see Zo Dusa are trying to lay an early foundation for a potential fight near the Roche pit because they want to do this Roche. Okay. But as they do it, Zai's just going to be like, I'm just going to keep pushing up here. A, look at them. They're just leaving them. They're like, all right, you know what? Forget it. This it's all good. It's a five versus four. Then we're good. The second Gyro shows up and is like, hey, I have call down. I have rocket barrage. I have flat cannon. These are things that are going to tear through your team, which are already going to be locked down by the coconut. Because you guys all want to fight together in like a snowball. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be an easy Maldic, easy Death Ward, easy stun lockdown. Oh, oh. boy. And oh, we have our first DC of the game. Oh, it begins. Do they even bother pausing? Axmo, this who is currently doing Roche. <laughs> He's currently tanking Roche. Is not even here in the game. <laughs> all right. They'll micro him. They're not even going to bother the pause. They're going on to S4. He's got an Invis Rune. He'll be okay. And Artor. Oh, there are some remote mines here. Undershock. He's going to try to bait it out. But can he do it? TP's in. The five-man continues. Zai, he's in the dire jungle. He could venture down. Maybe we'll see another team fight. <gasps> Remote mines, boom! Oh, daddy, it's a dead blood seeker. Artur should die as well. Snowball! Oh, here it comes. Troubles chugga, chugga, are coming. Chugga, chugga, Indiana chugga, chugga, Jones. Chugga, chugga. Oh, my goodness. Run, little Phantom Assassin. Six Run. Six seconds. Six seconds before shards are there. They are committed. Oh, yeah. Run, little biscuit. Okay. Jump. Very cheeky. Oh, the shards miss again. Air ball. They're baiting them in. Uh-oh, S4 and the Senpai. They're coming in. There's a Death Ward. There's a Lasso. Axmo, oh. he's going to get caught by the Lasso. He gets pulled into the tower. <laughs> Artur's still alive. He finally dies off to the side. Now they find Undershock. They see his mines going down. And, ooh, the Ursa actually lives. Now on the other side of the fight, Kuro, he wants to fight Flo and Zoof. Can he actually win this battle? Bloodrite comes out. Does not connect on either. They did finish off the Ursa. This what is and meanwhile Zai look at the man LOL <laughs> Still Zai's like fuck this, this fuck game. this game. I he's just going Agnum's on Gyrocopter. So he's like, you know what? If I'm not gonna be able to fight, I'll still be able to contribute with my global call down. I guess Zai didn't get to have his World of Warcraft fix before this game started. So he's he's gonna rice here. 86 CS. He gets the tower, level eleven. He's 86. The next closest is Techies at 34. <laughs> <laughs> That sums up this game pretty oh, well. Oh, he's uh -oh. in trouble. They finally scouted out the game plan. They see Wait, does Zai. he turn this around? Call down number one gets the Wraith King. Call down number two. Cool guys. Zoom. Run away from explosions. Okay. <laughs> and the Cushmaster lives. Okay, monster, whatever the hell he is. Kuro does die to mines, though. That's frustrating right here. They even had a sentry ward down. That is very demoralizing. Okay. 11 to 8. Oh. <sighs> This is actually ridiculous. This is Dota. This is Dota right now. And, well, Undershock, after uh, getting a nice boom in the mid lane, I have to say, with those mm -hmm. remote mines. Dude, you know. he's played a good techie so far. He's 2-1-4. and four. He's actually found kills. He's making use of this mid lane farm. What, Arcane Boots? He's got I about mean, 1,200 gold Yeah, saved he'll up. be having Ags on the way, maybe a Yules. He's, he's feeling We're all looking right. for positives here. But flow. Uh oh. There's a rocket chasing him down. This could be big damage. That's 500 damage. Oh. Just look at it. Into the call down. He's bada dead. boom, bada bing. You dead, Tusk. And Kush says, Well, I was pretty far back. You didn't even see that one coming, did you, buddy? Yeah. 
He Walrus is actually 200 that. gold from well, Magnum Scepter. Check this out, Cuddle Guy. Look who's back at it. Limbo and Axmo in the pit again. The DC'd Ursa just yeah. wants Roche. Oh, God. Oh, S4 is there. It's a lasso onto the oh, high God. ground. A Death Ward to boot. Axmo's dead. Limbo not yet level 6. He's going to be caught in Limbo once he moves into the afterlife. Now, Zoof comes in. He's dropped his ulti. Artor will TP out, but S4 dropping the fire does a lot of damage here. They'll take that fight. A 2 for nil. Everyone on the Radiant does live. Oh boy. Well, now you got Zai with his Ags complete. Not in pocket yet. There it is. So, oh, daddy. One second. Call down is now up. This is less than a minute. He'll have he'll have call down globally available. Global cast range and big damage on that oh, second there missile. There it is. Zoof. Oh, yep. Here it I comes. Think you're Boom. dead. Bada you're boom, dead. Look at that damage. Boom. It hits on four. Oh my god, he's now rock and flat he's gonna go he's down dead. as well. The go, oh, the mines, they blew they up. up. <laughs> Can they get him? They do. Christie's alive, but Kuro, he comes in for the cleanup. It is clown dodo all over the place. Coup de grace hits Limbo with the dagger. The five man dota just continues. The call down, man, it was buffed recently. You gotta remember, it's the second rocket now. That does the slow. The AOE has been increased. I believe the damage has also been buffed. God, is it? The damage is there? It increases the damage of only the second one. Yeah, I don't think the first one changes, but Limbo, he's still... Okay, he's level 6 now. He has a reincarnation. The wraparound is coming. s is on the high ground. There's your Firefly. He's ready for it. Who's he going to find? I like how Axmo is just following Limbo around. He's just like, I've got my own personal bear. Oh, no! My bear! The cask is going like crazy. Ursa, he gets put down. Limbo, well, that's a reincarnation. Or TZ, he's diving deep. Could they turn this one around? There's the Wraithfire Blast, but there's some follow-up damage. Senpai gets his ulti interrupted. Walrus punch to the face. Artor somehow still alive. He could maybe still live. The Senpai's still alive as well. Now RTZ dies. Now 1437 does, but the Cushmaster's here. Call downs a plenty. This is looking disastrous for the Dire. They're putting up a good fight here, but we all know what happened at the end of Rocky 3, and it's looking like Secret might have Mickey as their coach. Here goes Clubber Lang from behind then. Kush steps up. Rocket going to be there. Kuroki wants to man fight. Gets uppercutted in the chin, and now it's going to be Flo's in trouble. Rocket oh. Barrage comes forward. Flame Break is not going to connect. Please help me mine. It's going to blow up, but it's not going to be enough damage. And there goes Flo. Full five-man wipe on the side of the Dire. It's Secret pulling way into the lead. 21 to 12. Zai, the master of the call downs, number one on net worth. And, well, believe it or not, for Dusa, Techies is their leading farmer. So I think that is usually a bad sign for your state of the game. Uh-oh, Limbo initiated on here. Rocket Flare coming on in. S4 is laying down the fire. There's your call down. Number one, number two. He's down again. Zoof TP's in, says, hey there, oh there, hi there. I've got a poison Nova. S4, what are you doing, you silly biscuit? He TP's home and he lives. Oh, my Lanta secret just clowning on fools right now. What is happening? At least the server's holding steady, so we've got that going for us. This is the meta unfolding before your eyes. Didn't you know that? I mean, Zai's now going to be going for a refresher. He's got perseverance on hand. We've got double call down eventually to come in this game. Arteezy's going to man up, ring around the rosy with the DC bear, and he gets right. the kill. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, the snowball. He gets a Veno inside. They want Artur. They say, you stole my girl. I'm stealing her right back. Thank you very much. Chris Christie makes it back to the base. They get another one. It's Roche time, apparently. Undershot gets a haste rune, gets snagged, Ooh. kidnapped, pulled back into trouble. Kuroki's there, and so's the, the call down. Boom. Oh. Beautiful setup. This is dirty. <sighs> Imagine when he gets a double call down. <laughs> For fresher call down. It's not even a long cooldown, but I like the idea here. Oh, lots man. of slow, though. Lots of damage. And then, guess who benefits a lot from that? Your Bloodseeker, once they're all beaten and battered from all the call downs. He's going to be looking yeah, to go on cleanup. So I don't know if they've been doing it, but I reckon they've been blood rage. This is like a mini Zeus oh, blood yeah. seeker. You give him the blood rage, then he does the call down they, from afar. Did they, I think they've been doing it and we just didn't notice because well, we were too they, hyped up with the tech. The other thing is, I, I don't know how they, they coded it, the change, because you know how they used to do it with Zeus. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if they were just like, it's by a set set of range, or it's, is it with Zeus only? I, no, I believe it's now when when you're global, when you're out of the radius, it reduces the uh, the bonus, is the way it works. So it still gives you a buff, but it's like 50% of what it would okay. be normally if you're right. not within like 1,200 yeah. range, something like that. I imagine they're going to be giving it a lot Yeah, here it is. Die. You can do hold down alt, and that'll tell you. Only amplifies for half value versus targets that are over 2,200 range. 
range away. Oop, Snowball moves on forward, wants to get on to Tiemann, but not going to oh. be able to connect. PA in the front lines. There's your Blood Rite about to connect on this dire team. Hits two. They almost find the kill on PA. He lives. There's your lasso. No, PA goes down in exchange for the Ursa Death Ward, getting a lot of damage in. Limbo starts chopping that sword, but he doesn't have a stun. The Senpai making the plays, but uh oh, Techie slows down a mine. Decent damage with Voodoo Restorations there. Christy goes down again on the backside. Limbo, he's running around in circles. His ulti's already been utilized. It's a one for four. Doza doing what they can, but it's not enough. Oh, double damage on Techies again. He's going to bait it out. There's some mines there. Suicide, little buddy. Nope. <laughs> All right, the double damage. He's he trying to kill Senpai. He doesn't Senpai. want to give him a five-man wipe. <laughs> Run to the Roche pit. Uh-oh. He's Please. got mines here. Save He's got mines here. Stasis trap. I think they're suspicious. They know. Look at they, drop, they, they drop him a sentry, too. Oh, how smart. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nowhere is safe. He can't even suicide. He just gets destroyed by the gyro. S4 in and out just to make sure you can clear. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> S4. Oh, my God. That gets a sad face right there. That is... I see them. I'm taking them out. Oh, I've got shit. I've got shit range. That's... <laughs> that play right there sums up this game to a T. Oh, man. Well, 29-15, Secret technically do have the upper hand. Ursa is yet to be able to reconnect. I like how maybe they could have even had some pause time to work with, because you always kind of, in each match, like they probably get a set mm -hmm. period of pause time. They're like, no, he's, it's, it's not happening. We don't even want to bother pausing. We just know he's not going to be able to make it back. So Yeah. You know, with that Secret, they hold their commanding 12K net worth lead. And, well... They're just looking to kind of push it on forward here. Touching base with the items coming together. It is Zai looking to finish out a refresher orb. Actually pretty dang close. About to finish off the Oblivion Staff. Just need to get the recipe thereafter. And oh, back at the pit again. What okay. is this? Good old, good old. This is like try number three, try number four. Call down three, number four. one. Here it is. Call down number two. Axmo's almost dead already. S4 comes in. Ursa ties the Roche. Now Limbo, he'll be stuck on the high ground. Doesn't oh have enough mana for his ult. Uh oh, Snowball. They want S4. He baits him to the high ground, right into his team. There's a Poison Nova, but doesn't make a difference. It's not looking like it. Veno gets destroyed. Tusk gets brought down. It's a fast three for nil. They really want this Roche, and it is just not working out for him. S4's in trouble, man. He's poisoned up. Okay, he'll get here. Oh! Artor walks into the mines. Oh! That's a. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's dead. More sentries near the Roche pit. That's what we need. I love techies. It's such eventually, a satisfying hero. Eventually, Duza will try to go for Roche again, so let's just pre pre plan and prepare for secret right. while Zai farms elsewhere and bees our real carry. Limbo pulls out the calculator, thinks about Roche. Do I have any options here? Ursa still only level six. He just wants this age more than life. You know, I got I gotta admire. Duza, they're just looking to put on a good show. I like it, dude. They're I, just I, putting on a good show. Can respect a team that can uh, bring out the fun plays and make the best out of a, a crappy server right. situation. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here it is. The big one. That's a refresher orb now complete on your Kush monster. Double call down global. Don't see it very often in competitive Dota. We are witnessing history. Uh-oh, uh-oh, S4, big snowball coming his way. It'll hit him in the face. There are some friends here. Walrus punch, but the oh. cooldowns. Oh, oh, my God, oh. it's an obliteration. He uses the refresher, and Limbo comes back to life and goes, whoa, my team's dead. Yeah. Zoof goes, whoa. Oh. That yeah. does a surprising amount of damage. And secret, thinking about Roche, perhaps? Yeah, all that work you put into it, now we're just going to take it for ourselves. Thank you. Okay, 36 to 16. What is what is Arteezy doing? Wait, what? He's inside their base, just like running around. He bought, I think he bought from their base. I don't know what the hell's I happening right now. I wasn't even looking. I was looking at Roche. What the hell is he I'm doing? I'm like, that's a color from the other team inside the base right He's now. just clowning. I mean, there was, to... what's that thread about Sing Sing forgetting which base was his? Maybe Artur just took a page out of the Sing book. and Maybe he's trying to, he's he's just trying to catch a shopping shop. mall around here somewhere. Damn it. Is it north, south? I don't know, but I'm just trying to get my boots. I'm a pretty lady after all. Uh oh, the Kush monster. He gets himself the Ag or the uh, Aegis there. He has called down every 45 seconds now. I mean, it's just. It's crazy. There's a remote mine's bottom lane, though. Could see the boom any moment here. I don't anticipate they'll have an idea that the mines are there and That's ready. He has a gem, but he hasn't picked it up yet. Everyone make sure Arteezy's not in the chat for this. 
because if they suddenly have vision, oh, our, he's on top of him. Oh, we're gonna save it. We're gonna save it. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting overhyped right he now. He has Aegis. So. Is it worth it? Does he have a nice bounty? He's ten and two. I think it's worth it if he doesn't have Aegis. Oh, you're right. He has Aegis. But that is the one target that you don't want to walk on those mines. Then why are they all in the pit? I think they're going to snowball, I think. Oh. I think they're going to try to snowball Next across. level. Do they All have right. any vision? They are completely blind. No wards down. This is... Okay, they kill a sentry. They're, oh, they loot. Okay. They're just trying to, to group up. I don't know what they're doing here. They don't <laughs> mines don't even try. Okay. Well, see you later. They S grab whole limbo. Is, we'll start this off. He's Everything's dead now. dead. Okay. And he does get blood raged. Hasn't used call... Oh, he did use call down already. Oh, my God. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, this is dead. All right. Um, this is a 4v5 right now. Arteezy's just like playing with his toy cars in the jungle. He's not even farming. He's just running around. I don't, yeah, I don't. I, I'm really not sure I what, he's, what he's doing here. Just admiring his cosmetics. I got Hell's Usher. I'm ready. He's probably still maybe lagging even. Oh, oh that got him. Snipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what he's doing. He's just running around looking for snipes. Oh, oh snowball. He's oh, going to steal your girl. You can blink to S4. Oh, gets the force out. There is a walrus punch, but now Flo, he's forced to turn tail and run. S4 is here, blinks forward. Mm, tried to bait him into mines. Oh, ah, easy. See you later. Too easy for techies. Good mm. bait there from Flo. <laughs> now Senpai is stunned up by Limbo. There's a mine left. He wants to bait him in. Limbo, this is brave. You have no ultimate, sir. What's the play here? I don't... Really know what the plan was, but he went for it. He's dead now. Bold. Condolences to his family. Oh, what? You got to kill in the. <laughs> you got to kill in the well with the call downs. Oh, did he just kill him on spawn? Yep. Oh my god. Okay, Axmo caught by the lasso. All right, Ursa's dead again. Or you're looking like this could be the end, but the high ground difficult to siege against techies. Don't worry, S4. He's got a. He's got a gem. He learned his lesson last time. Don't get too close. <laughs> They'll get you. He'll watch out for it, though. Now they finally look to breach high ground. <laughs> okay, stasis pop, mine's blown. Kuroki could be in trouble here. No. He's going to get healed up. Okay. Don't worry. They've got level four voodoo. Do they have call down again? Five seconds. Soup's dead. I was going to call it voodoo desperation. Oh, he's oh, barely alive. Is he going to blow, hit points. blow the call down for it? He will. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Godlike for Zai. I like this build from Zai. I like this. This is good. I can't wait to see it in my pubs later. God, look at the ass. Seriously. Wah, wah, wah. All right, Dooza, they're putting up the big defense. These techies will not be discouraged. They'll continue putting mines down. Hmm. What's on the courier? This is now the game plan for Dooza, unfortunately. They don't have the luxury of even getting near that Roche pit like they once did. It's oh, now right on now. to high ground defensive Their duties and hope that techies can kind of bring it home here. But now, look at this. Limbo. Yeah, Limbo. Bravery. Ultimate. It was all so part of the brave. bait. Was that the plan? No, it doesn't seem like so it. No follow-up. Okay. I thought that was a clutch. Like, alright, I'm going to use my ulti here. They're going to be slow. Let's set this up. But there is nothing to follow. TP to the tier 2, Undershock, he's getting sneaky, but Limbo, he gets caught too far forward. He'll die now, Axmo hit by the blood right. Shivas, Rocket, and that's a death ward, it's upgraded by the Ags, bouncing oh. around, he goes into a snowball, that'll be the end of the Aegis, but is this snowball gonna be enough? Interrupts Kuro, Flow. The Blood Rage Gyrocopter is gross. It is gross, it is very gross. It's very gross. Friday. All right, man. This is like Derpy Tuesday. I don't know what's going on here, but well, at least this season of Starlighter starting with a bang. Techie's yeah. coming around the backside. Oh, he's trying to bait him. He's got a whole mine army down here. You guys should be suspicious of this. Zai goes to the high ground almost. Boom! Oh, that's the end of the streak. He almost gets two for it. Can he suicide here for Artur? He cannot. Techies goes down, but he buys back. Limbo goes in, very brave, but Artor barely lives. Oh, the voodoo restoration. And Undershock, is this a dieback? Is yeah, this a dieback? Yes, back? it is. I oh, think it or may not. Be. Oh, good. Rotation no. comes through. Tusk helps him out. Snowball forward, uppercut. Veno suicides and makes space. And now Christy will get turned around. And now the lasso on Undershock. Die back on the techies. That's for such a tryhard. Try hard that right. Jumping pick. in there, getting a lasso and everything. All right, so Rax is going down. All right. So I don't know what was clownier, game one or two. 
Dude, this is a tough call. There, we're at about 30k. Okay, actually. see you Whoa. later. <laughs> All right, MTC <laughs> hangs around a little too long. Really wanted the barracks. 52 to 19. The standard in. Dota matchup. Classic star ladder. Limbo, you are so brave, sir. He's died 15 times now. He's Let's just, you know, forget about net worth. Let's just look at the KDA tab. I think that's really what we want. Mm -hmm. How has this Wraith King died more than the DC'd Ursa? I just don't understand. Did you look at the net worth graph, though? 30k plus? It's I like did. a beautiful it's, skate ramp right it there. <laughs> Axmo, there we go. He dies as well. Now the barracks will fall. Glyph. Okay, Zeus comes in, gets ruptured, drops the ulti. He dies. He did everything he could. Buy back from the Wraith King. Deuce are in it till the bitter end. They're just re voodoo restoring through the uh, the poison there. Here we go. Snowball. Bum -ba -dum -bum, bum -ba -dum. No. Okay, now they go on Senpai. He's still healing up a storm. Do they have the damage? He might live. Bloodright comes out. Christy wants to commit Ooh. for it, but it's going to cost him everything and anything. You are now on layaway, sir. Techies outside of the base. You got to be careful, little buddy. He's just planting anything he can at this point. There's a call down available. RTZ comes in on the limbo. Now your call down starts. She wow. Knows he suicides right away. Yeah. Okay. GG. Well, that is Star Ladder Europe for you. Okay. Secret versus Dooza. Dooza go down zero to two. Well. I uploaded that first VOD and tagged it Clown Shoes. So I don't know what I'm going to tag this one with. Clown Shoes Extreme. Clown College. Clown College. Clown Clown. Triple Clown. That was ridiculous. I, I don't know what else to say about that game. Um, secret take it 2-0. I think the bets were canceled.